Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This video, I'm going to tell you about data validation and uh, how to have under performance or appraisal or technical commercial comparison. So you can have some criteria for data validation, formulas, and data selection restriction. So I'm going to tell you how to <clears throat> do this first. I'm going to show you the evaluation sheet so this is an evaluation sheet and we can see this four vendors and we can make the comparison total here so we can get uh, technical score and this will be a commercial score these are the formulas and this is the rank the next video i'll be showing you how to uh, get this formula and apart from that uh, we have already have a so this is a data validation so these are the criteria so the criteria are here so, so this is the weightage this is the score and this is the total score so just a mis mistake right? so this formula is to calculate the total score so i have made a, a separate sheet over here this is the criteria now the thing is that i don't have any in here so i don't have a data validation to get the criteria over here so i don't want to copy manually and i want to paste the uh, criteria and then uh, you know do the work so i would like to have these criteria here so before that uh, let me show you how to get the criteria in this program so see so this is the criteria so select the criteria and uh, from here and you can do the uh, create from selection or you can just do is <clears throat> uh, this is a top row so i'm going to this top row so okay, when you go, you can see that the technical criteria is selected. So if you keep the cursor anywhere, and when you go technical criteria, it is going to come to this, this format. From here also, you can see the technical criteria. Now, this technical criteria should be here. So what we are doing is to go to data. And from in data, you have to go to list. And in the list, you can hit F3. And here, you can see the technical criteria. Do okay. So this is the criteria here. So if you want, you can come down and you can do control in case of control plus B. So <coughs> you can see the criteria are <coughs> there. So you can <coughs> you can select some of the criteria. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and you can give some uh, points or ratings. I can give 20 or 25 or whatever it is. Then you can you have to restrict them from selecting the score from 0 to 5. So to do that, you can go to data validation and give a cursor here. Or you can select the whole area and go to data validation. And here you have to give a list. So the second part is to get a data validation. So you can type 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or you can see it has been selected. You can copy and paste this over here of the control C. You can select the first one and you can control B. Or you can just do control V and control, control sorry, just do copy this control C and control V. So you can select different numbers, you know, whatever you do, if you have, if you just want to have a good practice. Or if you, so the next one is going to be this uh, formula. So I'm going to have a formula that I, this has to be multiplied by this so by five the maximum scoring is five so this one divided by five okay. then it should be multiplied by so this one so if you want you can select the in this way to just have a check you know then 
you can scroll this down. You can just check verify this. So if you select any number over here, so you get a full score. So you can copy and paste this here also. So if you can just copy this and paste this here. So if you want, you can just double double check from here also. So it's going to be selected. So same way you can do for the other two also. So whatever you select, you get from off here. Now I can get the total over here. This is the total, and this total will be uh, calculated in here. So this is the sheet actually. So if I select this, so this is the main sheet. It is connected to that one, and uh, this is a simple formula. You can do 15 and 8. So that total will be counted over here. So this the formula is from the technical one sheet. This is just for the Recap. I just made this one. Now, if you want to, the, the other part is I want to restrict the data restrictions. So I don't want say, someone to select here, you know, hundred. So it's already the restriction is there, but uh, this restriction is already there. Just let me uh, go and remove this thing. So if I if I make, if I, I don't want someone to make this into hundred and uh, this one into one thousand to spoil the fun, <laughs> so it's going to affect badly. So I want to restrict this area to so that nobody can you know, have they have some restrictions. So so, so if I so what I can do is I can now select this data. Go to data validation, and here I can make phone number, and here I can put a restriction you know, from zero or one. It's better to make it zero because sometimes you don't have any selection zero, and I make it till twenty five, and I can give an input message that uh, if I want an input message it to be shown here. So if I want an error message, I can show here. I can so uh, please. Select from one to twenty five only, and you can do okay. So now there is a restriction. So if somebody is there, one twenty six. So you can please select from one to twenty five only. So this is the way, and uh, this data validation, this sheet, and we'll make it more advanced. So this will be helping you and. Uh, uh, so the main will be this will be a criteria and there will be sub criteria and from the sub criteria you will get the scoring so the next advanced technique will be showing you how to do, do this in a effective way and a very professional way so, so the main categories can be sub categorized and instead of making this subjective i can make this objective so whenever you select something and when we have some information so based on that information we can get the total answer so I hope you got this video useful and uh, and I uh, would be like to thank you for you for watching the videos and supporting me and please subscribe to my channel and uh, please wait for my next video and see you in the next video and uh, yeah thanks a lot. thanks a lot.